So students, let's see uh, the next paragraph. Uh, due to some technical issue, our video was stopped in between only. So this is uh, uh, this paragraph we have to read now. The doctor put a plaster cast on Nadia's arm. It will get better in a few days, said the doctor. The broken ends will join together again and then your mended arm will be as strong as it was. So students here, we can see doctor is talking with Nadia and uh, he's saying that now your arm has broken but in few days it will get better again and as it was it will be strong okay so what doctor done here doctor put a plaster cast on Nadia's arm so what is this plaster cast so you may have seen uh, earlier to someone if anyone's uh, bone broken so doctor put one white color plaster on the arm or on leg or anywhere where the bones break okay so that plaster cast is there so students in new words also it is its meaning is given here a mold made with a thin material and plaster of paris to hold a broken bone okay so this is one type of cover made by plaster of paris to hold the bones okay so students now it is one more what is there mended what is given then your mended arm will be as strong as it was so mended means what repaired or fixed okay now it is okay so that arm will be as strong as it ever was now next paragraph nadia took her x-ray to school the next day she showed it to her friends in the class she also showed them her plaster cast she told them what the doctor had said about her arm. So students, we can see here. Now Nadia took the X-ray. Okay, X-ray is one type of photocopy, X-ray photo. So that photo we can see here also. This is X-ray copy. Okay, this we can see here skeleton, body part, but it is took by x-ray so this is one type of x-ray plastic paper and only the picture we can see easily okay so nadia took that x-ray to the school next day okay and she showed it to her friends in the class and she showed them uh, her plaster cast also that was put on nadia's nadia's arm and she told them what the doctor had said about her arm so she was excited to uh, explain these all things to her friends and with teacher. So she showed this arm and the plaster cast and that x-ray also to students, to friends in classroom. Her teacher, Mrs. Das, asked Nadia how she was feeling. Nadia said she was feeling much better. Then the teacher told the class more about bones. So students here, now, as usual, if uh, in class we go, so teacher asks, how are you now? How are you feeling? So Nadia's teacher also asks the same thing. Nadia, how you are feeling now? So name is also given here. Nadia's teacher's name is Mrs. Das. Okay. So she was feeling much better now, Nadia said. And then the teacher told the class more about the bone. So here, today, the teacher, uh, told them all about the bones only in that class so students uh, here skeleton is also given on the right side you can see on the page so this is one skeleton of a body's structure is given here bone structure so that we call skeleton you have learned this in your science period also students so uh, you can see all bones and their names are given here okay as skull, collar bone, shoulder blade, wrist bone, arm bones, rib cage, backbone, hip bone, tail bone, 
thing uh, this is thigh bone fingers this one is kneecap and uh, this shin bone again ankle bones and toes so uh, these bones are given here students and their names you learn this and write in your notebook also okay and tell to your friends and parents uh, about these all bones and different types of bones you have learned in science uh, your science subject uh, there are different types of bones also and different types of joints also okay so you can talk with your friends and parents with about it now students let's see what happened on the page number 86 so before that plaster cast and mended mended means you need to repair okay so uh, this is the new words from this passage now let's see all of us have bones said the teacher we have 206 bones in our body these bones make up our skeleton if we didn't have any bones our body would be as saggy as bin bag the bones in our body help us to move so teacher told here what the functions of bones are there how the bones are helpful to our body how do they work okay so teacher told here that we have 206 bones how many bones are there we have 206 bones okay these bones make up our skeleton so students you also highlight this word in your textbook skeleton if we didn't have any bones our body would be as, as saggy as a bin bag okay so what is saggy and bin bag so saggy means curving down easily under weight or pressure means we have bones that that's why our body is strong otherwise we can bend in any way we could bend in any way okay so that is curving down easily means that that word is given here sagging bin bag is a cloth bag partly filled with dried beans and used in many games so that is bin bag okay so students with the help of bones only our body is we can miss turn and our body has shape if we didn't have any bones in our body so we would be saggy as a bin bag the bones in our body help us to move so with the help of our bones only we can move from one place to another place and we can make movement second paragraph next now there was bell for the recess and the children ran out to play after recess mrs das showed the class a picture of the human skeleton so while teaching only bell rang and uh, children ran out around ran out to play and again after a recess means after break again mrs das came in class and she showed the human skeleton to the students so she showed a picture of the human skeleton okay now what she said let's see bones can't bend said mrs das so a skeleton has joints these joints are like the hinges on a door with the help of these joints we can bend our ankles knees wrists and elbows we have joints in our jaws in our hips and in our shoulders also now students we learn that bones are a hard part of our body and that's why only we have the shape okay we can move with the help of bones only so students one more thing is there that bones can't be bent means we can't bend our bones then how can we see it we can stand we can move anywhere we can uh, jump so this teacher said that skeleton has joints so these bones have joined with each other and the joints are like the hinges on a door so you know what is hinges Hing you have seen door so our door is attached with the frame and we can open it and we can close it 
so how they are connected to each other and how the door can move from its place so it it can move with the help of the hinges okay once you observe in your home also the door okay in the corner there are hinges so in the same way the bones are also have joints like hinges only and with the help of these joints we can bend our ankles our knees our wrists and elbows also okay so we have joints in our jaws in our hips and in our shoulders also so these parts we can move easily Mrs. Das told the class many things about bones and she said that good food and exercise help our bones to grow and to keep them strong. She advised the children to have milk, eggs and vegetables regularly. So students, what is told here? Now it is told here, how can we protect our bones and how, what should we eat? Okay. To make strong our bones so ma'am told here that many things first she told to students and she said that good food and exercise okay two things are there good food and exercise so this good food and exercise you and you also underline these words these are main things to uh, grow our bones and keep them strong so good food and exercise help our bones to grow and to keep them strong. And she advised children to have milk, eggs and vegetables regularly. So you also students, as Mrs. Das taught to students, so same way she is teaching you also students. Okay, so you also learn these things. You have to also, you have to take milk regularly you have to eat eggs, vegetables regularly. So you can also keep your bones strong and you can also grow your bones. Now it was time for the last bell. As soon as the bell rang, children ran for their homes. So this is last bell and student ran out from the classrooms and went to home. I shall always have milk and eggs for breakfast, said Nadia to her mother. For my lunch and dinner, I shall always have vegetables. I shall give up my habit of eating fast or junk foods. I want to keep my bones strong. So when teacher taught them in school, how can we keep our bones strong? Nadia learned the lesson and she told to mother that mama, I will always have milk and eggs for my breakfast. So she just decided what to have in the breakfast and what to have it's lunch time or dinner okay so she told that in breakfast i will have eggs and milk and secondly nadia said that to her mother that for my lunch and dinner i shall always have vegetables for lunch and dinner she will take vegetables and i shall give up my habit so give up means what to stop okay i will stop my habit of eating fast or junk foods you know students what are fast food and junk food you have already known about this fast food and junk food means the fried items or the market from market which items we do fried items okay so we should not eat these things so fast food or junk food i want to keep my bones strong and she's saying that mama i want to keep my bones strong so students here uh, we have already read this again bring back third new word was here fast or junk food it means that food that easily Foods that are easily cooked and are sold by restaurants to be eaten quickly. Such foods are not considered for uh, considered good for health. So it is not good for our health. Okay. So student, in this way, we have finished this lesson here. Uh, I hope you understood this video and you have learned the importance of our bones, how they are in our body, and all these uh, many things we have learned about our skeletons and bones okay students you also discuss with your pa parents about this lesson okay you inform them these things whatever you learn and you can ask them questions if you have any question regarding it okay so students all the highlighted words from this lesson you have seen on the screen you also highlight in your textbook write all new words in your notebook in good handwriting learn them learn their spellings learn these all the bones names okay 
you also can draw one skeleton and label them these uh, parts of bone and you can paste uh, the drawing in your study room okay students i hope you understood this part very well the remaining part we will continue in our next video thank you